Perfect. I'm Donald Henderson. I'm curator of dinosaurs at the Tyrrell Museum. Uh, there's three, three reasons I'm excited about this find. It's the remains of a fully terrestrial animal that was washed far out at sea and became preserved that way. It's an animal from much older period of time than what we normally get dinosaurs in Alberta. It's about 50 million years older than what we normally find. And the quality of the preservation just blows me away. This is a three-dimensionally preserved animal. Everything seems complete from what we've seen so far. Yeah, looks pretty good. We can see the trace fossils right through it. Yeah. Oh, look at all the bones on this side. Yeah. I, I think this might be the, the, the best specimen I've worked on with the Tyrrell Museum. And uh, just digging in this material type here we call case spec that comes out in slabs like this. And it was sliding down the bank after every scoop. I just noticed this uh, definite fossil, or not fossil, but design, like shape that was distinctive, uniform. And it just really caught my eye. So I knew it was something out of the usual. I've, I've seen lots of slabs come down the bank, but not with that distinctive design on it before. So we think we found a type of armored dinosaur, they're known as an ankylosaur. And here is a very nice little model showing what they look like. So you can see, if you look down on top of it, it's got quite a broad body. Um, in fact, we can sort of match the, the specimen to, the, uh, to the, the, the model. So you can see these bony plates. You can see the, the rows of bony plates here. You can see some massive heavy tendons here, which would have run along the back. I suspect they're helping to support a tail club that would have been out this way. So we've, we've got these uh, diamond shapes here, and in between them we've got these hexagons, and they're all nicely regularly laid out. And inside each hexagon you've got one of these bony discs, the fancy word is osteoderm, from inside the skin. So no one's ever seen this sort of pattern before. That's this, this gives you a really good measure of just how good the preservation is. Well, so we've just got the part of the body just in front of the hips here. Um, we've got a little bit of possibly part of the hand. So maybe 15% of it we've got. There's, we can see that there's a lot more still poking out of the cliff. So we're going to be taking little bites out of the hillside. Um, this is stuff that's fallen down or was knocked down. And we're going to go through each layer. He's going to take a scoop, spread it out nice and shallow. We're going to look at every crumb. We're looking for bone shapes because it's really frustrating to go all the way back south and not have everything. So we're going to make every effort to get every piece. Yeah, you know, I was excited. I was very excited. Uh, but I've become more excited since uh, Mr. Henderson has come up and, and spoke about it and, and you realize how rare it is and, and just how different it is from any fossils that have been found before. As time has gone by and I've learned more and more about it, it's getting more and more exciting, actually. These things are so rare. As much as you hear about them in the media, they are, the reason you hear about them is they are so rare. And you always just used to seeing a gray surface and all of a sudden there's these uniform brown circles. And again, maybe because I had just come from the trail three days or four days earlier, maybe it was on my mind, but it definitely, uh, it was something you'd never seen before. So I had to stop it. Are you hoping to learn a lot from this fossil? Oh, what, what won't we learn? It's 3D, skin impressions, armor in place, a whole new time period. What more could you ask for?